a beautiful day outside. Good morning, good morning to you. <laughs> a friend of mine taught me that song. You know it wasn't a man, it was a chick. Oh man, it is bright and early. And I'm ready to do some Magnus answers before I do some reactions today. Now this one comes from a Magnusita, a 10 percenter. And this is what she says. She says, hi Tyrone, I watch your YouTube videos all the time and I really like the advice you have given to your fans. If you are okay with it, I would love it if you could give me some advice as well. Since the age of eight years old, I've been suffering on and off with a debilitating autoimmune disease. Although it is not nearly as bad as it once was, I know it's something that I will always continue to deal with. Don't believe that. A lot of the diseases that are present um, in our society now are relatively new within the past 50 to 100 years. All right, so if I were you, I'd look into natural health care, um, a lot of Eastern stuff. They really know what they're doing and they don't deal with uh, the diseases that we deal with. Okay, so since I've been so preoccupied with my health through my teen years, boys and dating were always pushed to the back of my mind. Now I'm 23 years old and I'm at a loss for now or if I should even start dating anybody. I have had multiple times when guys flirted with me. Being so experienced, I didn't realize it until my friends pointed it out. <laughs> yeah, I've been through that too. And it was like, man, you know she's on you? Nah, I thought she was just cool. <laughs> Although I know I am funny and a good-hearted person, I feel like I'm going into dating, the dating game blind. I don't know what guys like or if I even look good to guys. Whenever a cute guy talks to me, I suddenly seem to turn into this awkward, nervous girl that is so different from the outgoing, talkative, uh, straight-A student that I am. Well, that's normal. So I don't even think that that's, you know, that's like when a guy approaches you and all of a sudden he's nervous. It's the same thing. And so get that out of your mind as you being different as far as that goes, all right? Um, it says, I guess that I'm seeking, what I'm seeking is an unbiased opinion about how I should handle guys. Also, you can see my profile picture so you can see what I look like. That was what I was going to next. <laughs> um, thank you so much for your time, Carly. So let's see what you look like here, Carly. All right, Carly is blonde. What are those hazel eyes you got? Hazel eyes? Yeah, you look good. Yeah. Yeah. You're straight? I ain't got no problem with you, okay? So now, so now you know that you meet Magnus's standard of approval. Um. As far as answering the other questions about what guys like, you know what we like? If you watch my videos, you already know what we like. We like a woman that is a lady. She takes care of herself, you know, whatever makeup you may wear, that's taken care of, your hair is nice, your nails, you know, the way you dress is sexy and sophisticated. You're pleasant. Um, you, you know, you have a good personality, a great sense of humor, you know, you know how to cook and all that stuff. That's great. But we, we really talking about, I guess you just did this to start up the startup dating qualities that you need. Okay. Um, try to relax and be yourself as much as possible because guys, I mean, I know that I like outgoing girls. I just don't, you know, but there's a line because sometimes there's these outgoing girls who, are the party girls? It's just like guys will feel like um, that you're too you're too much. Like you know, you're the good girl that a bunch of dudes have been with, and all this other shit. And, you know, uh, no. So if you're outgoing, that's fine. Be outgoing. Be talkative. Don't be afraid to be yourself in front of people. I remember I had heard. I think Justin Timberlake had had made had said something. He was talking about how. For the first six months, you basically he said for the first six months you don't know who you're dating. 
after the first six months is when the, you know, the, 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 the curtains pulled back, the real you comes out, and people find out who they're really dating because they're done being polite. They're done watching their P's and Q's. They're showing you their real personality. And to a certain extent, yeah, on the first couple of dates, you know, you want to put your best foot forward, but you want to also um, let the person know who you really are. And that's something that I had struggled with for years. And um, after, you know, after a while, I started, to, I was just like, you know, this is me. You know, I'm not really going to hold it back. Yes, yeah, so I'm wild, I'm, I'm crazy, I'm loud. But I'm also, you know, a very sensitive, caring, supportive man that will knock your boots into the, yeah, the stratosphere. <laughs> okay? Like, I'm, I'm a good dude, and I know that. Okay? So, you know that you're a good woman, and you're confident in that. It's going to show through. Confidence is so fucking important when dating a girl. Now... To men, it's more it's more important because women are attracted to confidence. Guys are attracted to confidence too, but sometimes that shy awkwardness makes us like you more because we try to get you to open up. We we might find it as feminine or cute, you know that <laughs> that type of stuff. It's 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 cute to us and sexy sometimes, so that's okay, but. As you're talking, you know, and you're warming up to the guy, don't be afraid to be you. You know, test the waters, you know. And if he can't handle that, then maybe he wasn't for you in the first place, you know. So I hope I have helped you, my darling, my 10% of my Magnesita. And I'm sure you are going to be just fine, all right. Write me back and let me know how you're doing. One million subscribers. Woo!